Hello friends, the topic for today's video is divide and conquer. But before starting with this topic, let us revise what we have studied so far. So far we have been studying various different uh, tools and techniques to determine the space and time complexity of an algorithm. That is, we have learned various techniques to analyze any given algorithm in terms of time and space complexity. Now we would dive in our focus to see what are the various well-known design techniques using which we can solve problems. So there are many well-known design techniques. One of them very well-known and very widely used design technique is called as divide and conquer. Now divide and conquer uh, if you have heard of merge sort and quick sort algorithm they are this algorithm for sorting uh, a given list of items. So merge sort and quick sort is based on divide and conquer technique. If you have used binary search even that is based on divide and conquer technique. So it's very widely used and very popular technique. Now the, to talk about the core concept of divide and conquer briefly it's it's very simple what you do is you are given a problem uh, a problem of relatively big size so what you do is you break down this problem into various smaller sub problems now you have divided this problem into various smaller sub problems and then you'll solve these smaller sub problems and then combine them to get your final solution we are going to look at it in details but before we begin with the formal introduction of divide and conquer let us start with a very interesting puzzle question the puzzle question goes like this there are eight identical looking coins as shown here one of these coins is defect and all other are genuine so in this example there are eight coins out of eight coins seven of them are the genuine original coins and one of them is a defective piece and it's also given that the defective piece is lighter in terms of weight all other coins are of same weight and the defective coin is lighter in terms of weight now your job is to find out what is the minimum number of weighings how many weighings you can you have to do to guarantee that you'll find out the fake coin what you are given is a two-way balance like this two pen balance like this but you are not given any weights with this balance all right now here remember one thing it's asking you the minimum number of wings now you have to guarantee this solution that means see if you are lucky enough you choose first two coins you weigh them you get a lighter one your job is done that is the best case scenario here we are not talking about the best case scenario if you want to guarantee your solution you are talking about the worst case scenario so in the worst case what can happen that is what you have to think so i request you to pause this video for some time and then think of a solution and then come back all right i hope you have you have thought of a solution <clears throat> so what may come in your mind is maybe what you think is maybe i'll take the first two coins and then i'll weigh it so I'm one way if they are equal so we are talking about the worst case in the worst case they have to be equal okay if they are equal in terms of weight that means they are both of them are original coins so i take the next two one more weighing i'll do with this balance weighing balance they are equal that means both of them are uh, both of them are genuine coins so i do one more weighing with these two let's say that both of them are equal in weights so now I'll do the weighings here right now one of them is bound to be fake so let's say this is a lighter one or this one can be a lighter now how many wings did i do here one plus one plus one plus one this is four wings so by performing four wings i could guarantee that uh, which one is the fake coin now the question is can we improve upon this can we apply something like divide and conquer to solve this in something lesser than four wings let's see that now okay <clears throat> now let's apply divide and conquer technique so what you do is we had eight coins 
we divide these 8 coins into a set of 4 coin each. The 4 coins in one side of the pen, remaining 4 coins on the other side of the pen. So, I am doing one weighing here. I will weigh these 4 sets with these 4 sets. Now, one of them is going to have a lighter coin. Let us say this is having a lighter, this is lighter and this is heavier set. So, if this is lighter, I am guaranteed that my fake coins should be somewhere, should be one of these 4 coins that is that is guaranteed here. So, what I now do is now I had here I had 4 coins. So, I divide this 4 coins into 2 coins each. So, I will put the 2 coins in, in this side and remaining 2 coins this side of the pen. All right. Now, I do 1 more weighings here. Now, again one side should be lighter because there is a fake coin. Right. Let us say this is this is the lighter set and this is a heavier set. So, I did one more going to identify. Now, I am left with 2 coins. I am just left with 2 coins. Now, with these 2 coins I will put again the, the coins in the balance. Right. Now, let us say that this is lighter or this one can be lighter. So, one more weighing here. So, I did one weighing here with 8 coins 4 each, one weighing here with 4 coins 2 each, one weighing here with 2 coins 1 each. So, 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 3 coins sorry not 3 coins 3 weighings. So, by performing 3 weighings I could guarantee that which one is the fake coin. So, this is divide and conquer. I had a problem of uh, a size n let us here here n is 8 then if I divided this into n by 2 that is 4 and then divided into 4 by 2 that is 2 right. So, I, I keep on dividing the problem into sub problems and then I am it makes my life easier to solve it this way and even I get a better solution here rather than using the the brute force method right. So, <coughs> for this for the question that is that is given here this one right is 3 the best solution. So, we have now improved from 4 wings to 3 wings is this the best solution can we improve upon this. If you think a little bit if you just modify something in this divide and conquer technique you can actually improve this. Let us see how we can improve this all right. 3 is even not the best solution we have a better solution. So, let us say what is the better solution let us see which one is the better solution. Now, what you do is you had 8 coins with you right out of 8 coins you separate 6 coins and you make 2 coins aside set 2, two, two coins aside. So, now you have 6 coins with you and 2 coins are kept separately right. So, I am decreasing the number number 8 is decreased by 6. So, I am remaining with 2 coins. So, I take the 6. So, I take the 6 coins and I divide into 2 different chunks one set with 3 coins other set with 3 coins and I have 2 coins kept aside right. Now, here also I, am, I should talk about the worst case. So, there are 2 possibilities one is the fake coin can be among these 2 coins or fake coin is there in this 6 coins. So, what I do is I will perform 1 weighing here right if I perform 1 weighing here and if they are equal if these 2 sets are equal I am guaranteed that my fake coin is here in this one out of these 2 coins. Okay. So, let us say if they are equal, if they are equal I am doing one weighing to find out whether they are equal and then I have to weigh them once to find out which one is fake. So, 1 plus 1 using 2 weighings I can guarantee which one is fake. But what if they are not equal? If they are not equal one of them has to be heavier other one has to be lighter. So, let us say this one is lighter. If this set is lighter, I am guaranteed that out of these 3 coins, there is a fake coin amongst these 3 coins. So, what I do is out of these 3 coins, I will keep 1 coin aside and take these 2 coins and then do the weighing here one more time. Right? So, I do the weighing here one more time. So, what happens now is uh, this can be equal if they are equal, I am guaranteed that this is fake. If they are 
not equal right out of them i know which one whichever is lighter is the fake coin right so one wing was done here and one wing was done here to find out which one is fake so just with two wings i can guarantee that which one is the fake coin so this particular you know problem can be solved in two wings actually all right so this is this is the concept of divide and conquer and this in this particular solution where we get two we have modified a bit to divide and conquer technique there is something called as decrease and conquer and divide and conquer so we have mixed both of them together to get the answer two but this is the overall idea of divide and conquer so the idea is quite simple you are given a problem a big problem of size p okay let's say there are the problem size is n so the first thing that you do is you divide this problem big problem into smaller sub problems sub problem 1 sub problem 2 sub problem 3 till sub problem n so this part is called as division divide part so first step number 1 in divide and conquer is to divide you divide the problem into a similar size sub problems here as shown sp1 sub problem 1 sub problem 2 sub problem 3 and so on now see we have we are doing this division hoping that we can solve the sub problem in a easier way in a faster method so now you will find out the solution to each sub problem so this is the solution to the sub problem 1 this is the solution to the sub problem 2 solution to the sub problem 3 and similarly solution to the sub problem n so this part is step number 2 called as conquer so i am trying to find out the solution to the to each sub problem now see as of now we have i have just found out the solution to the sub problem and not to the original problem p so to get the solution to the original problem p i need to combine all these sub solutions i need to combine s1 s2 s3 and sn right so i need to combine to get the solution final solution to the problem so this is called as combine so generally there are three steps involved in divide and conquer technique divide conquer and combine so combine is optional in some of the problems you need not combine but generally this is the general layout of how divide and conquer is used all right so uh, this is the basic concept of divide and conquer in my next video i am going to take some sample algorithms based on divide and conquer strategy and we are going to find out and we are going to see how it works and we are going to derive its time complexity as well so until then stay tuned thank you